How did Logan and Michelle keep the drama away from their wedding? Who was best man? Let's take a look. Thanks for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe to help YouTube share my videos. Keeping it legal. Disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. All opinions are solely my own and all information is alleged. I do not own any of the video clips or photos in this video. Photo credit. Ethan Beasley Photography out of Arizona. Before we get down to business, can we just admire Ethan Beaksley's absolutely breathtaking photography? When I saw these pictures I was like damn, I didn't see Michelle as the dark and romantic type. But these photos are truly stunning. Every shot tells a story. Michelle is like the dark queen and Logan is her king. Everything about these pictures screams just how in love they are. I think Ethan Beasley did a fabulous job and we hope Logan and Michelle share even more of their wedding photos in the future. Just look at this venue. With the lighting it appears magical. I do wish the indoor lighting had been better but this is still a beautiful picture of Logan dancing with his mom. One of the ceremony highlights. Logan's brother Garrison was the beer boy and tossed beers to guests as he walked down the aisle. It showed us just what a fun-loving couple Logan and Michelle are. After the ceremony the couple greeted guests. Note Cody in the back left side. We are so glad the wedding didn't turn into the Cody show as everything normally does. Someone surely put him on notice that this was their day and he needed to keep a low profile. This is my favorite photo. Michelle looks absolutely beautiful. This venue was perfect for the dress and flower style they chose. Kinda dark and mysterious with hints of romanticism. I love the expression on her face. Very distant but her hand on his head portrays intimacy. Ethan Beasley really hit it out of the park with these photos. We never saw a lot of Michelle on the show but what we did see wasn't this. It was not what we expected. But we are obsessed with this aesthetic. Logan and Michelle worked hard to keep any family drama out of their big day, starting with an actual seating chart for the ceremony itself, not just the reception seating. Payton confirmed this in his interview with John Yates, but he also insisted Cody sat on the first row. He didn't. I think he was thinking Cody was in the first chair off the aisle and called it the row. Cody actually sat behind Michelle's family in the second row. Gwen also said Logan called her and asked who she got along with because they were making a seating chart for the ceremony. He asked if she and Leon got along and Gwen wholeheartedly said yes she wanted to sit by Leon. She sat on the front row with Leon on one side and Beatrice on the other. From the photos we can see where most of the Browns sat for the ceremony. It is incredibly odd that Cody, father of the groom sat with his only remaining wife Robin on the second row. On the groom's first row it was Janelle, Gabe, Mary, Audrey, Leon, Gwen, Beatrice and Truly on the end. The second groom's row was Christine, Isabel, three empty chairs, Maddie, Caleb and Garrison. Who was best man? Hunter. We don't know if Dayton attended or if he did where he sat. We also know Hunter's girlfriend attended the wedding but we don't know where she sat either. Here is an actual breakdown of where the Browns sat during the ceremony. Christine sat in the second row so she could FaceTime the ceremony for McKelty and Tony who could not attend because of McKelty being pregnant with the twins. Peyton expressed his annoyance that Mary was on the front row while his mother was on the second but he didn't seem aware she was using FaceTime so McKelty could watch virtually. Hunter and his girlfriend are adorable. Maybe we will get to meet her in future episodes. Hunter stepped right into Logan's shoes as a male role model when Logan left for college. He continues to show up wherever and whenever any of his siblings need support. Gwen shared some photos of her and Beatrice at the reception. They are a beautiful couple. They are engaged to be married and we hope Gwen will allow it to be filmed for the show. They recently had their engagement party and expect to tie the knot in July 2023. The famous Brown celebration dancing. Christine has all the moves dancing with Logan. Janelle also mentioned the dance fest in her Instagram post. This is the first event we have seen not star Cody in a feature role. We saw him in the background of only one photo made public. 
Oddly, he is wearing the exact same suit and shirt he wore to the tell-all. The couple's choice of photographer and venue was phenomenal and it was a beautiful wedding on a lovely day. It certainly looks like everyone had a good time. Clearly, Christine's girls had a great time. As much as we are curious about their lives, it is important for us to remember these are real people with real lives and deserve their privacy. Logan hasn't been filmed in many years by choice. The fact they were willing to share photos of their special day publicly is incredibly generous. We can only hope Logan and Michelle have a wonderful life together full of love and laughter. We wish them all the best and hope to catch a glimpse of them on occasion during filming. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as a free way to show your support. It is much appreciated. Come back soon for more great videos.